Tyler. Today is Monday, day one of uh, working from home as Investing.com offices are closed uh, due to the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, however, I'll still uh, be trying to get you these daily videos out. Uh, so without further ado, these are the top five things I'll be watching today on Wall Street. Kicking things off with number one. The Fed fired its bazooka last night. They cut interest rates by 100 basis points in a surprise announcement on a Sunday night, effectively taking borrowing costs back down to crisis era levels of around 0%. Uh, the US Central Bank also announced plans to restart its quantitative easing program, uh, pledging uh, to buy up to 700 billion, or uh, pledging to buy at least uh, 700 billion in uh, treasuries and mortgage-backed securities. Uh, it also offered uh, cheap dollar swap loans with other uh, central banks around the world in order to uh, spur lending uh, and uh, provide liquidity uh, to stress credit markets. Overall, US dollar, while President Trump uh, praised uh, the, the action, markets, however, uh, did not see uh, the uh, move with the uh, same enthusiasm and excitement. Overall, the, uh, the, the, the fear and concern now is that the Fed pretty much ran out of ammo, they used up all their bullets, and now they are stuck with pretty much uh, no tools left in case the coronavirus outbreak uh, takes a turn for the worse and its impact on the economy uh, continues to grow. Uh, so really, unless the Fed can come up with some sort of vaccine, uh, there's very little monetary policy can do uh, in times of a health crisis. Uh, so again, you cannot fix a global health crisis with rate cuts and QE, and we'll likely see that today in financial markets. On to number two. Speaking of the health crisis, coronavirus uh, headlines will continue to drive sentiment. Uh, we really saw things take a turn for the worse uh, over the weekend. More than 170,000 people have been infected around the world. Uh, with the global uh, death toll nearing uh, the 7,000 mark, uh, we really see a, an explosion of new cases in uh, many of the European countries, uh, such as uh, Germany, Spain, and Italy. Uh, the numbers in the U.S. are, are rising uh, at an exponential uh, rate as well, something which is uh, obviously fueling concerns over the economic impact of the uh, disease. Uh, New York City and Los Angeles both announced uh, measures on uh, Sunday night uh, that they would close pretty much uh, bars, restaurants, uh, movie theaters, and uh, so forth in order to really push the uh, social distancing uh, thing uh, more uh, so that people take it uh, more seriously. Uh, so really, anything regarding U.S. coronavirus cases updates throughout the day, if we do see the number of infections and deaths continue to rise, uh, more states declare uh, states of emergency, obviously that is something uh, which will affect uh, sentiment, uh, probably uh, to uh, the downside. On to number three. Speaking of sentiment, rocking sentiment to the downside, global stock markets are on the, da are on the back side uh, this morning, on the back foot to, to start the week. Uh, we see U.S. stock futures plunging 5% to hit their daily down limit for the third time in less than a week. Uh, pretty much the Federal Reserve's move uh, failed to ease uh, uh, jitters regarding the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, so overall, the Dow, before it was halted, is down about 1,000%. However, taking a look at the ETF, uh, the DIA ETF, which uh, pretty much tracks the Dow, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, that is down 9% uh, at the moment. So that pretty much signaling a circuit breaker uh, uh, will be in effect when the markets open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so really, daily swings like this are not have not been seen since the 2008 financial crisis. And with the VIX trading above 50, we're likely to continue uh, to see these uh, daily swings, uh, so perhaps something Wall Street should get used to, at least for the time being. On to number uh, three, or number four actually. We see that uh, yields and the dollar are collapsing uh, at the moment as the Fed rate cut uh, combined with fears over the global growth outlook are uh, taking their toll. Uh, the 10-year bond uh, fell to 0.64% from 0.95% uh, on Friday. Uh, moved back up a bit uh, as the session progressed. However, yields are uh, moving back down. The dollar, same story there. We see the uh, yen in demand uh, as the dollar trades lower uh, due to uh, more expectations of uh, easing from the Fed. And finally, number five, in commodities markets, oil prices are getting hammered once again as the combination of uh, global growth fears and uh, just weak sentiment in financial markets are taking uh, their toll. 
WTI currently trading below the $30 mark, moving back towards last week's uh, six-year lows. Uh, so uh, really a lot on our plate uh, today, a lot to keep an eye out on. That's it for me. May the trading guys be with you. Stay safe, everybody.